Hi everybody, Annette here. I have not made a video in a very, very long time, so please forgive me if this video has awkward pauses or anything like that. Um, I did want to come on. I had some leftover hot dogs and sausages from uh, barbecuing the other night, and I know that a lot of people are going through hard times right now, um, and a lot of people are also getting the USDA boxes, which happen to have hot dogs, onions, and potatoes in them very often. At my food rescue organization, we've been getting those boxes. Um, and I was inspired by another video on YouTube by Cooking with Clara, I believe it's called. She does Great Depression cooking. She has since passed away. Um, she's super cute. She was like 91 years old when she made the videos. Um, I will leave a link in the description box below. But I'm starting out with some bacon grease that is starting to smoke. So I'm going to put my potatoes in. That pan's nice and warm. It's a cast iron pan. And uh, just going to put all those potatoes in there. They're just regular russet potatoes that I peeled um, and diced up. And we're going to let those cook for a little while. It's a super simple recipe. Uh, Clara says in her video that they made it during the Depression because hot dogs and potatoes were super cheap. Um, that's all she puts in hers. I have some cabbage right there from my cleaning program. Um, and I happen to like potatoes and cabbage sauteed together, especially with some kind of like kielbasa. So I think it'll work really well in this. Um, the hot dogs back there were grilled the other day and there's some sausage and hot dogs in there. Um, and then we just have one onion diced right there. So like I said, I'm starting with sauteing up these potatoes, um, in cast iron. You want to let them sit for a little while, get golden before you start to turn them. You have less chance of it sticking that way. Um, and then I'm going to add in some seasonings and that's pretty much going to be it. It's going to be super easy, super simple, um, and a nice way to either use up leftovers or to use up what you're getting from your USDA box in maybe another way besides just, like just having hot dogs on a bun. Um, so I'll be back in just a moment. Okay guys, so my potatoes are going. They've been going for just a couple minutes. I cracked some black pepper on there um, because I'm using a grinder and I don't have my tripod here, so I'm just hand, hand holding my camera. Um, I am gonna put in some seasoning. There's a little bit of smoked paprika, some seasoned salt, and some um, garlic, like roasted garlic salt in there. And I'm going to add that. Potatoes like salt, so don't be afraid to add salt, um, obviously, to your taste and your liking. So I'm not going to give you measurements on that. Um, just do as much as you would like. And whatever seasonings you would like. You can spice this up however you'd like to. Uh, I think some Cajun seasoning in here would be really good also. But I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle these in now. Stir them up a little bit. And after just a couple of minutes here, I will start to give these a turn. Um, hopefully they'll start to get some color on them. And once they do, I'm going to add in the onions and probably the sausage. And the cabbage will be last because um, it will not take very long to cook. Okay, everybody, the potatoes have a fair bit of color on them now. They've probably been going for about 10 minutes or so. I've stirred them a couple of times. Um, I also wanted to let you know that you definitely don't have to do this with bacon grease. I just saved mine and I have it on hand in the fridge. Um, it gives potatoes and cabbage really good flavor when you cook with it. Um, but in Claire's video, she just uses vegetable oil. So you just use whatever you have. I'm going to go ahead and add the onions. And the sausage and hot dogs. Give these a stir in the pan. And um, I'm going to get these going a little bit. I may need to turn down the heat and I may need to add a little bit more oil. We'll just see. Um, and I'll show you guys what this looks like after it sauteed down for a few minutes. I'm just going to let it go a few minutes. Let the onions get just a little bit softened before I add the cabbage. Okay, so the onions and sausage have been cooking in here for just about five minutes or so just to give the onions a little bit more time to soften. I like my onions pretty well done. Um, my 
sausage and hot dogs were already grilled on the barbecue so if yours weren't you may want to let them brown up in the pan just a little bit but mine already had some flavor on them from being on the grill um, so they just really need to heat through I'm gonna go ahead and add this cabbage in and I'm just gonna let it wilt down it's gonna really crowd this pan so just gonna add it in here and then I'm gonna put a lid over it and let it steam down for just a little while before I stir it. I'll probably add just a little bit more seasoned salt on the top of the cabbage because it will need some flavoring as well. Sorry about my camera um, quality here. Like I said, it's been quite some time since I've done this. So there's our cabbage. I think I have my seasoned salt right here. Maybe. There we go. There we go. Just gonna add a little seasoned salt like that on top. And then I'm gonna put this lid on here. And I'm gonna let that steam down for probably a good five minutes or so, and then I'll come and stir it in and let it steam down for probably another five minutes, so maybe 10, 15 minutes total. Um, I like the cabbage to still have a little bit of texture. Um, and when it's almost done, I'll bring you guys back and show you what it looks like. Okay guys, so there is our poor man's meal plus cabbage. I added that. It's not in Clara's original recipe. Um, the cabbage is about to where I like it. Still got a little bit of texture to it. You can cook it down as far as you like. Um, if you don't want to add cabbage, don't add cabbage. Uh, you can add other vegetables if you like. Bell peppers would be great in here. And um, even canned green beans instead of the cabbage would be really good. It's a one skillet meal. It uses what you have. It's very inexpensive. Even if you don't get items from a food pantry or a food bank or the USDA box, potatoes and hot dogs and onions and cabbage are all very cheap ingredients. This would definitely serve a family of four. Um, this is a 10 inch skillet and it is full to the brim. Um, and when I cut up the hot dogs and sausage. There was one bigger sausage and two medium-sized sausages and one hot dog. Um, so only four in total. There was four medium to small potatoes, one medium onion, and half a head of medium-sized cabbage. Uh, if you wanted to stretch it even a little bit more, you could definitely had, add some like crusty bread or something to the side, um, or biscuits, something that's really easy to make homemade, cornbread. Um, if you guys give this a try, I'd love for you to comment in the comment box below. Um, I'm excited that I was able to make a video for you guys and put it up. And I, like I said, I want to link Clara's video in the description box below. I believe it's called Cooking with Clara and... Uh, the hot dogs, onions, and peppers are called poor man's meal. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Hopefully, 2021, start to make some more videos, especially when canning season rolls around. It was great um, filming for you guys again. Sorry if there's a lot of ums or bad camera work. Like I said, I haven't done this in quite some time. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon, hopefully. Bye.